is Alana Lee, and I'm a photographer and digital artist. Today I'm going to share with you how to use Zoom virtual backgrounds. Whether you have a free or paid Zoom account, you have the option to use a virtual background when hosting or participating in a Zoom meeting. The only exceptions are for certain devices or computers that don't meet the minimum specifications. If you don't see an option for using Zoom virtual backgrounds or experiencing troubles with the effect, then I suggest you double check the specifications required in the Help Center on the Zoom website. If you are on an iPhone, you'll need an iPhone 8 or better. And on an iPad, you'll need a Pro or at least a fifth generation. Unfortunately, Android is not currently supported by Zoom virtual backgrounds. In this video, I will show you how to set up your Zoom virtual background as well as share additional resources to ensure that your Zoom virtual meetings run smoothly and look great. Let's start as if you have a Zoom account. Log into your account at zoom.us. Then click on the settings on the left side menu, followed by the shortcut in the menu on the main screen called In Meeting Advanced. Scroll down to Virtual Background and enable the option by toggling the blue button. Next. Launch the Zoom desktop application on your computer. Click on the gear icon to open up the settings and select virtual background from the menu. Be sure to check that I have a green screen box if you're using a green screen, otherwise leave this blank. Now you can choose a virtual background image from the preload of choices or add your own by clicking the plus icon and navigating to where you store your Zoom virtual images on your computer or your device. You can also change your virtual background when participating in a Zoom meeting by selecting the small arrow next to the video icon and then selecting Choose Virtual Background from the menu. If you are on a mobile device, look for the three dots to pull up the menu options, select Virtual Background, and then import the image from your device. If you want to get the best results from your Zoom virtual background, I recommend using a green screen, but it's not required. If you don't have a green screen, you'll sometimes get a bit of a ghosting effect around you as the interface tries to sort out the outline between where you and the background meet. Green screens don't have to be expensive. I use a low cost green fabric I picked up at my local fabric shop, and you can also find a lot of different green materials at your local discount store. They have this green wrapping paper. Uh, some other examples I found were fabric or plastic tablecloths. They're only $2 each. Or you could also tape a whole bunch of sheets of green poster board to the wall behind you. If you want to get fancy or you want your green screen to cover a larger area, there are many professional options available. Look for a chroma key fabric background or even seamless paper. You can hang your green screen from a background stand or just simply tape it up to your wall or a V-flat that sits behind you. Remember to light yourself well during your meeting. If your virtual background is blending into your real background, it is most likely because you don't have enough light to support the effect. I like to bounce one of my continuous LED lights from Stella Pro Lights off my neutral colored wall to ensure that my face is well lit. You can even get fancy and add a gel to your light so that the lighting on you matches the color tones in your virtual background that you've selected. If you're looking for virtual backgrounds to use in your Zoom meetings, be sure to check out my online shop at photographybyalanalee.com.